You know what? Fuck this bitch. Story time. Okay? Story time. I have a narcissistic family member. This person is retired and has three vehicles. My grandparents used to make sure that everyone had what they needed. That means if anyone was short on their mortgages or anything or, or someone wanted to open a fucking frozen yogurt shop in Canada, yes, that was a thing, they would have $30,000 to go and do it on a whim. Mm -hmm. So, grandparents pass away. I was very close with my grandmother, mind you. Now, the money is handed down. Okay. People are selfish, so. And narcissistic. So, people, narcissists love, love to take whatever trauma you are going through and fucking sign their name on that shit. This is happening to me. No, the fuck it's not, bitch. They're not helping either. They will help you so that they can go complain about it to people. Oh, she's going through this and I'm so stressed and I had to, I had to cook her dinner because I don't fucking know, I'm giving you random examples, but like they will take real trauma that you are going through and try to utilize it to get attention. That is how fucking pathetically lame they are. I'm telling you, oxygen is wasted with these fucking people. They're possessed, in like, point blank, period. I used to think that everyone could be helped back in 2021, so my dumbass channeled this person with light, and boom, they've got money, they've got things that they need, and guess who is not doing well? Um, because I helped them with their manifestations, and they fucking hate me, so I had to rewind <laughs> reverse they will ask about your day not because they care if you offer information about the, your day or anything happening in your life maybe you're excited about something like being home a fucking person they will act disinterested they will insult it they will not validate it they will do something and if nothing else fails they'll complain about it to somebody else they will find something to complain about. Oh, she she went on vacation for a few days. Yeah, she's so lazy. She went on vacation for a few days after getting out of years of an abusive relationship. You get away. When someone you love is coming out of something like that, first of all, you're lucky if they're alive. Second of all, like, because that person could kill them or they could kill themselves. It's, it gets really dicey. When you love somebody going through something like that, every single thing that makes them happy, you will want that in their lives. Now, I went on vacation to go visit someone's child. And it was this guy's child and his grandfather in the hospital and we went out to dinner that was vacation that was that was vacation yeah they'll get mad if they're single if you're getting along with someone that like if, if you're dating or you're getting along with your person they'll try to provoke fights between you and your person by just feeding you negativity planting seeds of doubt Always, especially, especially if you are excited about someone, they will sabotage that shit. <clears throat> and even if they were happy, they would sabotage it anyway. So back to the vehicle thing. A relative of mine promised me that when I leave this abusive relationship that I left, they will get me a car. Guess who? Oh, yeah, they didn't. Um, those people like that will be like, oh, why don't you get men to help you? So that they can go and say to someone, oh, yeah, they did this to get that. This 
disgusting fucking disgusting disgusting today i actually accepted that people are going to think differently of me than what i actually am and i just don't give a fuck think whatever you want to think you're wrong 99 percent of the time and uh I'm done wasting energy correcting people on it. If you don't have the mental fucking... If you don't have the the intellectual ability to read someone properly, then, like, that's on you. It's not my problem. You lose out on having me in your life, and that's, that's your problem. Because uh, I have been through hell. This is my agenda. This this guitar guy has been opening my heart chakra. I'm fine. This is just energy moving. My heart chakra blocked when my ex died two years ago. Okay, so, I have been through hell. If you are going through something in your life, I am the fucking person that you want with you. There's not one thing that will keep me down. I will get back up every time, and I will come back stronger. Now you're trying to get back on your feet, right? And you have people who care about you, thank God. So, there are people helping you. But you need a fucking car to get to work. Because everyone has their own schedules. Well, this family member of mine is fucking retired. Has three vehicles sitting in the driveway. I borrowed one to do one of my lash clients. Dropped it back and I forgot to take the keys out of my pocket. You would think, because I live two minutes away. Common sense says you would take one of the other vehicles and fucking come get them. Right? No. No. Um, when they spoke disrespectfully and you had to remind them that they have what they have because of their relatives. And, and then that insulted that was a narcissistic injury they proceeded to speak to me as if I, they wanted me to hire them somewhere i don't need your fucking resume like if it doesn't matter what you got with your own work you only have it still because other people helped you period you don't like that well that's the fucking truth you stand up for yourself now you owe them an apology or they want that car back oh you sound just like my ex you're offended by something. You don't like something that I say, so you're going to try to force me to apologize because your ego cares more about healing your narcissistic wound and having power than receiving a genuine apology. Narcissists function like children, like a preschooler. They want an apology or give them their toy back. You want to try to control someone. straight to fucking hell i'm telling you anyway that was a whole other the past two years they got used to me being just so deflated that i would apologize to them in the past just to keep the peace because i was so stressed but like i said i get back up so this time i didn't fucking apologize you are not going to sit here and be rude to me. You are lucky I'm fucking alive. You don't need to insult me and then demand an apology or bring your car back. Why don't you fucking come get it? The keys are sitting on the top of it. Bye. Narcissists are bullies and they're weak. And they try to get reactions out of you. They try to make you feel like they belittle you and belittle you to others because other people agreeing with them makes them feel superior. But they know that they're not. They know. So, 
And then this person proceeds to tell me that they made me baked goods. Fucking phenomenal. Thanks, Martha Stewart, but, um, like, I don't have a way to bring you your fucking keys. So you take one of your fucking vehicles, come get them. This bitch has the audacity to text me today. If you don't want the baked goods that I made, can you at least have someone drop the keys in the mailbox? What the fuck do you think I have a fucking team of people who will just do anything for me uh, on the drop of a hat? Like, you are fucking retired with three vehicles. You do something. You come get them. Is it really that big of a deal? I thought you needed it back so bad. But I have the keys. Like... Every single thing happens for a reason. This person I just started talking to is unlocking the chakras in my body with frequencies. I've never listened to music that I can't stop listening to. It's wild. And my energy is rising more. I have instant manifestation. So if I have instant manifestation, I think this is common sense, right? If I have instant manifestation, your things could be mine very quickly. I don't think people really think about that. You know, this toxic relationship weighed so heavily in my life until I dated my ex-husband. And then uh, as I healed from that, I also healed from my childhood. Because their similarities, I like this. It's crazy. This person used to ask me for spiritual help all the time. Anytime that they lost something or they were intimidated. Like, narcissists are so delusional at times. They will want to believe that you will stay down. Don't you fucking realize that you're just a fucking speed bump? You're just a fucking quiz. I just have to overcome you. You were put in my path so that I learn and evolve. You are nothing but something to be walked the fuck over. That's what happens when you're ugly inside. Oh, you spew venom. To you, I do. Someone like you fucking deserves it. <sighs> so then, you have to take back all of the energy, all of the things that you did to heal them. For starters. But with my energy rising, keep making me angry. It's less work for me.